Get our breaking news now from Escondido, where people living just across the freeway from North County Fair are waking up to this this morning. Police on their street looking into that deadly shooting and the discovery of seven pipe bombs in the suspect's SUV. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco has been there since 4 this morning. She's live with the traffic stop that set off this deadly chain of events. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning again, Bill. Yeah, still a very active crime scene. You can see all of the investigators here. Uh, the suspect's body was just loaded into that white van there, and you can see where his SUV crashed into that concrete wall. The families on the other side of that wall, uh, about 12 of them had to be evacuated. It was really a frightening night for them uh, with the sound of gunfire and explosions. Now take a look at some video that we shot in just the last hour. Police have been out here all morning gathering evidence from the SUV. We counted more than 50 evidence markers here on the street. Hours earlier, just before one this morning, the sound of explosives could be heard in the neighborhood. The San Diego bomb squad used a robot to detonate seven pipe bombs found inside the SUV. I have also learned in just the last five minutes that they found two shotguns inside the vehicle as well. Now, this all started in San Diego around eight last night when undercover units tried to take the suspect into custody on a felony warrant. The guy took off, leading them on a chase that ended when he crashed here in the 3300 block of Del Lago Boulevard. Police say the guy got out of the SUV armed with a gun and an explosive device. When he threatened to shoot officers, San Diego police opened fire killing him. I did talk with San Diego police about 10 minutes ago. They're not releasing any information about the initial traffic stop uh, or anything about the suspect's background. We know that the gang unit was involved. Uh, we also know that he was wearing camouflage pants and uh, was covered uh, with quite a few tattoos. Again, Del Lago Boulevard uh, still shut down here and expected to be closed until 10 o'clock this morning. Reporting live in Escondido, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.